Hey guys, it's Sally here from sallycatherine.com and today I'm back with another fitness video because it's highly, highly requested. My goodness, I can't talk today. <laughs> highly, highly, highly requested. So I made a list on my iPhone just of some things that are sort of top of mind uh, when it comes to staying healthy and staying in the best shape possible. Um, and these are really simple ways to kind of either get started or to stay fit or stay in good condition. So the first thing that I think is important is that you should set a goal. So if you do have um, something specific that you want to change about your body or um, about your state of health, then you should be really kind of specific about what kind of goal you want to um, achieve. So. Normally they say, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but normally they say a habit is formed in 30 days, but new research suggests that it's closer to 90. So I'm really sorry <laughs> to the people who thought they could form a habit in 30 days. It's technically, I guess, possible, but it's more likely to happen over a period of three months than it is over a period of one month. So it's more about being dedicated and determined and just pushing forward um, we talk a lot about motivation and keeping motivated, but really let's just talk about just doing it. Just let's stop talking about keeping motivated and, and being motivated to do something. Just freaking do it. Just put on your shoes, go for a walk, get that blood pumping. Just do it, okay? Just like Nike said, just do it. Um, one thing that I wanted to mention that really kind of helped me was getting an app, a fitness app. So there's so, so many different fitness apps out there. The one that was really probably one of my favorite, well, my favorite uh, fitness app is the seven minute workout challenge. It's called officially in the app store, 7MWC. So if you go to um, iTunes, you know what? I'm just gonna link it down below. I'm just gonna make it easy for you. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the description bar down below. I swear by this app. This app really helps to keep you uh, moving every single day. Uh, like the app suggests, it's only a seven minute workout. It can be done anywhere. You don't need any equipment, no fitness equipment or weights required. So there's really no excuse for you not to do this. And I, for a long time, did it every single day. So. It's definitely something you can do anywhere at any time and it's only seven minutes. So really, no excuses. Go ahead and get yourself that app because it's awesome. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is moving your butt. So <laughs> when I say moving your butt, we have so many options in this, um, in this world to move our bodies and we normally don't. So, you know, we look at elevators and escalators, we normally take them, but take the stairs. I mean, you know, if you can, Walk to the corner store instead of taking your car if it's not too far away. Go ahead and do that. Just move your butt and, and move your body. And that's really the way that you're going to be um, or stay healthy. So move your bottom. <laughs> Walk to the store. Take the stairs. Anytime that you can move your body and do something with it, go ahead and do it. Um, what's another thing? Weight training. So I know... A lot of girls are gonna kind of moan when they hear about this, but weight training is really beneficial for your body. It helps your joints, it helps to protect your joints. Um, it burns fat even when you're sedentary. So even when you're just sitting around, muscle really burns fat. So how do you do that? You gain muscle weight. And how do you do that? You do that by lifting weights. So for all you girls out there that think that you're gonna get super bulky by lifting weights, Oh, please, girl, please. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen, okay? You'd have to be taking hardcore supplements. You'd probably have to take testosterone or some kind of steroid to even make your muscles grow to that level, to the same level of man. Even then, you wouldn't even get the same muscle mass. So you'd have to like be in the gym, living there, like four hours a day, lifting heavy, heavy weights, like really, really heavy, for a very long time before you would get weights, before you get weights, before you get muscles. So honestly, don't even talk to me about looking like a man, girl, cause it ain't gonna happen. Go ahead, get yourself some free weights, go to the gym and lift those weights cause that's really what's gonna burn the fat over a longer period of time. And it's gonna help you keep you healthier as well. It's gonna protect those joints, like I said, if you're sporty or active, it's really gonna help to protect your body. So 
Weight training, do it. Don't be a cardio bunny, girl. Don't be a cardio bunny. <laughs> uh, the obvious thing, of course, drink lots of water. I mean, your body is mostly water. Drink lots of water. It flushes your system out. Um, it's good for you. Just drink lots of water. Uh, another thing that a lot of people forget is drinking their calories. So they may have a pretty good diet as far as what they eat, um, what they chew, what they put in their mouth and chew, but they don't count the calories that they're drinking, like the Pepsi and the fruit juice. All these things have a high caloric, caloric um, count. So really focus on drinking water only and avoid alcohol. Even alcohol has a lot of calories, especially if you're mixing with um, pop, soda, juices, things like that. Be very careful with that. Control your calories. I mean, really, um, your weight is based on how much you put in your body and how much you're actually using or expending while you know doing movement and moving your body. So if you're eating a lot of calories and you're not burning a lot of calories, you're gonna get fat. Like <laughs> that's just that's just how the world works. So watch what you're eating, watch the amount of calories that you're consuming. Um, eat unprocessed foods. I mean that's kind of a no-brainer as well. If it comes from a package, it's processed. Don't put it in your body because it's not really gonna give you anything good. So if you have to open a package to eat it, um, don't. <laughs> Just make, make food that you can actually make yourself. So you're cooking meats, you're cooking veggies, you're preparing fruits. Eat things that don't come out of packages. And finally, my biggest tip also, this goes along with water, a lot of people forget this, but get enough sleep because your body really needs rest in order to um, grow muscle even and just for your mental health as well. It's good for everything. It's good for your entire body. So get lots of rest because if you're burning the midnight oil, nah, it's not good. <laughs> so there are my fitness tips. I think these are probably like the main ones. I'm sure there's so many more that you can think of. If you can think of any really great ones, please do leave them in the comment bar down below. And yeah, I hope this video was super helpful for you. And I'll probably be doing a lot more of these fitness videos. Please do ask me any questions that you may have. Um, put them in the comment bar down below again. Let me know uh, what kind of videos you want to see me do as far as fitness is concerned. So hopefully see you soon. I will come at you with more videos. I'm really naughty. I don't really do them very often, but I will, I will, I promise. So see you soon, bye that just seems to illuminate the face. It looks as if you've been sun-kissed. It just is a beautiful, beautiful